Problem three is basically an extension of problem two. You want to create a numbered list of months. So I'm going to go ahead and start by copying the list that I made before. And I'm going to use a for loop to create a numbered list of months. So the length of the month of the year list is going to be 12. So if I use range 12, that'll produce in numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11, which is what I want. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit tab. Now, if I want them numbered 1 through 12 instead of 0 through 11, then I need to add 1 onto the month number. So that's all good. Let's try that. All right, there's my uh, list of numbered months. Now ask the user to enter the number of the month they want to choose. Okay, month number. Enter the number of the month you want, and I'm going to turn it from a string into an integer. Okay, that's good. Then print the name of the month and the number of days in that month. So I'm going to need to have my number of days list again. Let's put that in here. Okay, great. Print the number of days in that month. All right. So the months of the year month number. Oops. So if they pick a one, then that's item number zero. So I'm going to have to subtract one from the month number. Put that in as my index, and I'll print the name first, and then the word has, and then the corresponding item from the days in the months list. Again, subtracting one from it. I think that should do it. Make your script user friendly so they know what to do. Okay, we have that. Make the final printout say something like March has 31 days. Okay, that's great. Yep, that's exactly what we want. So let's try that. Uh, okay, here we go. Enter the number of the month you want. Hmm. Ah, okay, here it is. Let's do seven. July has 31 days. All right, that's cool. Let's try it again. Let's put in 12. December has 31 days. All right, looks like it's working.